this is what I'm actually doing. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I really just thought it's great to to hear like the wealth of experience that you that you bring with you uh, in, in everything you do. To, Thank you. Yeah, most certainly. I think I think there's um there's a part of me here that wants to start off with just getting into and I I can imagine this going to a, a lot of different places, but I I wanted to see you and I want people to see you too. So I wanted to start off here with like, tell me a bit about your story. Let's start off with that. It's an open-ended ele element, but I also know that you have a lot of different story to you. Um, so I want to want to start there, um, and then we'll see where we go. Like. Uh, yeah, let's let's start off here. Tell me a little bit like about your story. My story as of like when I worked, uh, everything about my childhood and everything. Is that what you want to know? Yeah. So let's say this here. So right now, right now your 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 fiery transformation, right? Yeah. Um, and you know, transformation is not fiery learning, you know, it's not even fiery growth, right? It's fiery transformation. So tell me a little bit, tell me about the significance of that. Like, tell me like through, through a bit of your journey uh, mm -hmm. to help me see like the transformation part of that for you. Okay. <laughs> I used to be fiery fitness, changed to fiery transformation. <laughs> ah. Fitness is what I breathe on. And uh, being a fitness trainer, I'm from... I probably from the time I was born, I always wanted, I inherited the genes of my father. He was an athlete of his own time, massive, massive. And my father died 20 years ago at the age of 105. I think Labor Day is his, you know, um, anniversary. So, um, yes, I got that from him and I've always worked out, but I was so sad, depressed, unhappy growing up. And I come from Iran. I was born in Iran and raised in Iran until I was 20. And I was so devastated growing up um, from the family that I became a very fat kid. I mean, when I say fat, I mean it capital F, capital A, and five Ts, not even double Ts. You know, I was... 205 pounds I think by the time I probably was 12 14 I don't remember something like that and I'm not tall I'm only five what am I just under five five just under five five so anyway um I always wanted to work out but I was I would I was allowed to do the swimming and the house because we had the pool and blah blah but I couldn't do what I wanted to do my mother wouldn't allow me and she said, the school called her and then in high school, and they said, she is unbelievable in volleyball. She's just incredible. Let her get into it. And she's going to make huge change. And my mother said, absolutely not. I lose control over her, she said. That's exactly the word and the sentence. So that continued. I wanted to play tennis. She wouldn't let me because she wanted to be able to control me. And it was a massive family that we had. Fast forward, I go to England at the age of 20. And I was working out in the rain and it was pouring with rain. There was no, those days they wouldn't say wear proper shoes and all of that. I did all of it that you can think of with the wrong shoe, with clocks on my feet and no back support. I'd be jogging, running and just doing all of that. I, within the first nine months of being in London, because I wanted to be so active, I lost like 50 pounds, <laughs> you know. And the fitness became like, yeah, this is what you want to be. And in England, I started playing tennis because I could do it. There was nobody there control me anymore. Squash, tennis, swimming, jogging, all that became like my best friend. And as I lost the weight, 50 pounds, it continued 14 years later. 